All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another Is It Worth Getting video. And in today's video, I want to talk on if The Crew 2 is worth getting. Now, here's the thing. The Crew 2, it's okay. All right, I'm, I am going to say that it's an okay game. I think it can be fun at times. But if you are buying the game for like a racing factor, uh, it may not be it. It may not be your preferred game to play. And to get into it, you know, overall to talk on why is that? Because I find it kind of weird how like with some like games out there, there there are some games where I've played that where like you can be playing it just free roaming and it's perfectly fine. So if you're buying this game for a free roaming factor, hey, that's 100% chill. Because there's a lot, I feel like there's a lot of activities to do um, in this game besides like racing and stuff. So, because they got, like, boats and planes. So, like, if you're, you know, buying it for those reasons and you're not, you know, or just anything besides racing, then, yeah, this could be the game for you. But there are games where I've played and it's different from the missions. Like, the, the controls, not that it's going to, but I guess, like, more so the play style or something. I don't know. But it just feels different from when you're playing uh the um like just overall the missions versus when you're just free roaming around and stuff so yeah like racing in cars it's not it like i there's games out there like there's uh dirt um like the dirt series there's forza what other grid there's all these other different games that i play where the racing seems perfectly fine but in here i just feel like that it's too arcade like, there's, like, and the thing is, is, like, you know, I guess, like, to kind of talk on another video game to compare it, but, um, there, the video game Dirt 4, and I've been playing a crap ton of Dirt 4 lately, and I will have to say it's a cross between simulations, um, simulation and, uh, uh, arcade, and I don't know why this game couldn't have been that, but, yeah, overall, like, the controls is just weird. You know, and when free roaming, it's perfectly fine. And then also, if you have a steering wheel controller, um, like if you have the Logitech uh, G923, um, it may or may not be compatible. Depending on what you're using, it may or may not be compatible because I tried using it for uh, playing on PC. And yeah, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't working and stuff. So, but um, I think they came out with an update, and it was supposed to make the game better. I played it; it still felt it still felt the same. So uh, yeah, but they do have planes, they have boats. It looks like yeah, they got dirt bikes and stuff. So they got like a lot of different things that you could get into um, when playing this game. But racing, on the other hand, it's one of those games where you have to like sit down and play it for a long period of time, and it's weird that it's like that. But yeah, that's I had to say that's probably the best way to, you know, get into this game is if you have the time to sit down and play it and under, um, understand the controls, then yeah. But if not, then well, it ain't even more so the controls. It's just the game is too like arcade and I'm like, I'm not with that. So but uh, yeah, it, is it worth getting, though? Is that that's the you know, the main question? Um maybe i wouldn't i would recommend playing the demo and i think they do have a demo on uh yeah so they have a free trial that you can download uh you can play that and i know on steam they have like a demo that you can play so uh yeah play those see if you um or yeah play that the trial or the demo see if you like it um if not then yeah you know that's why i wasn't saying in this video oh yeah this is the all-time greatest game get it by it and all that other stuff like it's one of those games where it's like i'll let you be the judge on whether or not you like it but they do have a demo and it makes sense because they know that this isn't the like top tier pretty much the very first crew that they came out with was a lot better than this i would rather have played the first crew than to play this one pretty much so but um i guess like the you know it's just a little bit more in this version or in this crew than it was the second one or the first one now i'm like with this they could have just had it where it was a dlc or something you know for the first one because i'm like it, it ain't like a whole lot it's you know i mean yeah they added more activities and different vehicles you can use but other than that it's like it could have been a dlc so but um anyways hopefully if they do come out with a crew three it you know plays better and stuff and it's not all arcade and things like it's just a little bit of a semi you know like a simulator and things but yeah and that being said i will talk to you guys later let me know in the comment sections what you feel how you feel about this game if you do own it 
And uh, yeah, talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, if you are purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will knock $20 off for your first purchase. Thank you guys for watching. And not this ain't my podcast. By the way, check out my podcast, The TMOS Boss Show. I always keep like ending it off like it's my podcast because in my podcast, I'll say thank you for watching and or listening. This is not a podcast, a video, all right? So anyways, you can go play the game, see how you like it. But yeah, talk to y'all later. Thank you guys. Peace.